a woman in Oklahoma has had enough of far-right superintendent Ryan Walters and his transphobia. The other thing that I'm going to bring to your attention today is an issue we have with a radical, woke activist judge that is trying to pressure one of our school districts into going in and changing past birth certificates. I want to alert the board. We are seeing more and more of this where judges are acting way out of bounds. We see a lot of this coming from the Biden administration trying to force dictates onto our states and onto our individual schools. See that at the end. <laughs> Look, uh, that woman uh, who was sitting in view of the camera, you saw her body language, and then you saw, well, let's just say a little bird. A little bird came to visit. Um, first off, to me, seems the appropriate response. After all, this guy is a transphobe who would rather have kids unalive themselves than be able to openly identify with the gender that, that they are. Make no mistake, this is actually a life and death situation when it comes to young people. The, the, member, the, the numbers of LGBT youth uh, who, you know, unfortunately harm themselves is incredibly high. The numbers are disastrous. And look, when you're denied the freedom to express yourself and are demonized by people like Walters, then yes, you are more likely to self-harm. So, of course, when, you're, when you actually want to protect children, then you protect all children, like LGBTQ children. So that said, back to this lady. So she's actually been identified as Margaret Bernard Howe, and she's a registered nurse in charge of the Oklahoma Vaccine Coalition. So she actually promotes saving lives, as opposed to that jerk off, Ryan Walters, who is in favor of people, once again, children unaliving themselves, uh, as long as they're trans. So now she was actually the first person to speak during public comment portion of the meeting. So she voiced her uh, support for a different Tulsa public school uh, former superintendent that was ousted and replaced by uh, Mr. Walters. That said, unfortunately, her words kind of rang on deaf ears. They did not agree uh, with her positions and voted to block districts from changing students' gender on board records without permission from them. So, the board. Why do you need permission from the board? Why are there a bunch of bureaucrats getting in the way of how a person identifies? It doesn't make any sense to me. How is that important for education? Remember, their job is to create a positive learning environment, not to do conservative social engineering by denying reality, denying the fact that groups of people exist. Trans people exist. Non-binary people exist. Now, as for things that do not exist, let me give you an example of that. The lie that children are using litter boxes in class because they identify as cats. That, that's not a real thing. That's not true. That is something that Ryan Walters, in his position, has spread around. It, this is a favored right-wing conspiracy. Now, that said, there is litter in some classrooms. But do you know why? The real reason is pretty shocking. It's not because of trans people. It's because of unhinged, heavily armed lunatics with AR-15s that come into schools. And when children are in lockdown because politicians on the right wing refuse to do anything about the ease of access for these high-powered weapons that continue to get used uh, by mass shooters, well, the children, when they're locked in these places, uh, in these classrooms, in these closets that are hiding for their lives, might have to have somewhere to go. Or even worse, they might need something to soak up the blood. That's the reality. That's the horrifying reality of what's going on. Now, the right wing, they're not going to do anything to solve that issue because they're owned by the gun manufacturers, the gun sellers. And so at the end of the day, they make things up. And then <laughs> they pretend to solve problems that they have made up. We know that. She knows that. This woman. She knows that Ryan Walters is full of it. And I'm hoping that the next school board election, he and others who are actively harming LGBTQ kids, get the boot. But for now, we can settle with giving in the bird.